Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, if you're new on here. Uh, Brother Dan is my co-host and my husband. He's not with me today. Uh, I have a vision I'd like to share with you today. Join me in uh, the book, New King James uh, Version Study Bible, uh, Matthew 24, verses 3 to 14. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming at the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginnings of the sor sorrows. Then they will de deliver you up to be to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will be and again right now here on YouTube we're in pretty much all the nations of the world so there you go so this is a curious vision that I got and um, because I, I am so bad with directions and geography the Lord really has a good sense of humor to give me a prophecy like this so here we go so the first thing I could see in the vision uh, out in the distance were, and it was nighttime, I could see uh, missiles striking. So I watched this for a little bit, and then it appeared in front of me uh, were five people. There was two men, a woman, and then two men. So there was five people, and they all had dark blue, what looked to me like military outfits on. And I could see some sort of medals and things and buttons and gold or whatever. So these five people stood before me, and um, there was a line of people that I could see right behind them, and it looked like they were walking towards uh, the left in front of me. There was, and there was a steady stream of these people going by. Then the first two men with the military uniforms went with these people. So now three remained, the woman and the two men. The next thing I saw was a close-up of the city that was being uh, bombed or missiled or whatever it was getting. So I saw the city close up, I saw several tall buildings and out from this, the city and the bombing, and this is so curious, I saw two white giant rats. And what the Lord revealed to me as I saw them coming and fleeing from the bombed city, that underneath this rat, I want to say rat costume, these two people had these dark blue military uniforms on underneath. So they came right towards me and they got in the line with the other three remaining people. Then again, this, this line of people were still going to the left and these two rats uh, went along with these other uh, people walking. So let's see, where are we now? Next I was shown the bombers who was bombing. They were on my right. And uh, the Lord uh, quickened me and told me I was in Jordan. And I was standing in front of a, what looked like a large stone wall or a large stone building with tan, it was made out of tan stones. And I find that again, very curious because now I'm told I'm in Jordan uh, I came down this morning, that was the end of the prophecy, came down this morning and I looked at who borders uh, Jordan and I know Israel is one of, uh, one of the borders and um, then, I, uh, then I googled the uh, military uniforms of um, Jordan and I did see that they have a dark navy blue uniform and t-shirt and so on. So as I heard the um, saw the city being bombed the Lord told me uh, as it was being bombed that this kingdom was being destroyed so I don't know where this tie, ties in if it ties in with the ten kingdoms or if this is actually um, a strike on Israel coming 
but again, I, it was very curious to me, and especially with these two uh, two rats. So I could understand what the rats represented is that there these whoever was being bombed uh, was betrayed by these people. So whatever was going on in the workings, that there, in other words, to me, they had two spies or two uh, false people in the group making whatever sort of decisions they were making because as soon as the bombing started, these two rats, they knew what was coming and they were fleeing the city. So again, I want to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And I'm asking anyone out there, any unsaved backsliders, uh, you want to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. The Holy Spirit will give you power. You can read about the uh, the spiritual gifts. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, thank you again. And remember, like us on Facebook. Come and visit us there. I put a lot of things up on Facebook that I don't put up on YouTube. So like us there. And again, you can visit us on Twitter. God bless. Praise the Lord. Have a safe day today. Amen.